try this again. Lady Guys has backpacks so that you can carry your groceries and borrow one of her bikes. These have been written a bike in over 30 years. Pretty sure that's correct. It's fun. I forgot how much I love it. the afternoon of my zero day. I've been riding the creeper trail this afternoon. Um, had a wonderful breakfast at Lady Dye's and then I just laid in bed and edited a video. <sighs> so luxurious and relaxing. Very hot though and I have been riding a bike for the first time in 30 years so that's crazy. That's been good. All right I'm gonna ride back post office and then back to Lady Dye's and eat lunch. A big one. Okay, so I'm gonna mail some things home. Got my backpack. Stopped at the post office. My package is not here, but hopefully 8.30 tomorrow, I'll be able to get it. I was going to be taking another zero in Damascus waiting on my package, but it is 9.15 and I have it. So I'm just going to put my resupply in my office lady's shopping bag, take that back to the hostel, repack it, and I have some things that I am sending home. Yay! Extra weight. I'm getting rid of. So that's exciting. And then I'll be getting out on trail. Probably only going to the first shelter today because I'm getting such a late start. Lady Dye's B&B has been one of my favorite stays on trail. It's beautiful. And there's Duke. All right, that Saunders shelter is probably what I'm aiming for as it is nearly 1030. I just got started. Love that sound. I am going to look and see if there's like a little place up there to drop my bag and eat lunch. Whoa, a little top heavy for a sec. It's called White Top Laurel Creek. I was about to pull over and find a shady spot to go tinkle, and then all of a sudden I see families on bicycles. The creeper trail goes right along here. So, oh my gosh. My bladder has gotten the message that we have thought about finding a place to tinkle, and it's like, I am ready for you. Whenever you call upon me, I shall be ready. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not calling upon you right now. Just hold back, Just hold back. It is so hot. I want to go for a dunk. I'm currently on a steep climb up to the first shelter, Saunders. I plan to go past it. Uh, like a wild bouquet of flowers. It's been rocky, Virginia. <sighs> yeah. A little less than five miles to get to where I think I'm going to camp tonight. Oh my gosh, the breeze in the shade is everything right now. It is just perfection. All right, it's hot and humid and likely we're gonna get more rain, but moving on. Again, the breeze is everything and shade, yeah. I just reapplied sunscreen. It is a hot day. 
Um, I passed the shelter because I don't like sleeping in the shelter. It's going to probably rain some bits for the next three days, so I'm going to get wet. So I'm just going to tent where I like to tent. Good morning. I settled up there last night in a bed of pine needles. There were several roots, but I, again, my tent was covering the roots, but my sleep pad was like right in between them, nice and flat. Um, after I set up my tent, three weekend backpackers came. They're all hammocking over here. Three guys. They invited me over. Um, they had, they even had gluten-free beer and, uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to go to sleep and they were wor a little worried. They were, they just told me they were a little worried. They were too loud last night, but it actually helped me like fall right off to sleep. Um, so I got pretty much eight hours sleep last night. That's so exciting. I only had to get up once to pee and it wasn't pouring when that happened. Um, it looks like today is going to be a really nice day, I think. Um, sunny skies. And my plan is doing about 15 and a half, 15.7, whatever it is, to, I think it's called Thomas Knob Shelter. So bef right before you enter Grayson Highlands State Park, but where the ponies are. But the ponies are a little south of that as well. So I might see ponies today, um, which is good because it looks like the last weather report I had was still thunderstorms tomorrow. So, um, but I don't have any surface, so I don't, I haven't been updated on that. I don't know, but yeah, 15.7 just got started a little late, 740, I think it is, but my feet hopefully have a better day today. It was really rocky yesterday and it took a few hours after I had taken my shoes off and laying down or sitting down um, before my feet stopped hurting. And that's different. And I massage them. Um, I don't know. So hopefully the ground is a little softer today. Right now it is with all these pine needles. And I um, make good time for my 15.7. I like to be there in camp. It's a big shelter. Um, I think it can sleep 16. But there's a lot of people out here. And I don't think there's lots of tenting options. I don't know. We'll see. Back at the Virginia Creeper Trail. Um, so I rode it a little bit out of Damascus. And it was just kind of boring. <laughs> like, it, it was nice where it went along the creek or river, whatever it was. Um, but then there was, like, you know, just houses, construction happening. It was really hot. So, uh, this now I'd like to ride the bike through this so I'd like to do the creeper trail definitely want to come back and do it um oh I hadn't ridden a bike in so long and the muscles you use to ride a bike are not the same as for uh through hiking because <laughs> there were a couple muscles in the top of my thighs that were like oh we haven't been used in a while <laughs> they were sore they feel better today but I can still feel a little tightness there no issues about water today. There's plenty of water sources, so I don't have to carry a lot, which is nice. And yeah, hopefully this is gonna all, this grayness is gonna blow off and it's gonna clear up and be a gorgeous day. So this right here is the creeper trail, but there's this little side trail down here with docks, like going over the water. I think so you can fish and then little campsites so you can bike the creeper trail but also stop and camp a little bit and go fishing I think it's awesome I think my husband would really like that so I'm still on the Virginia creeper trail this is a big long bridge A trash can down there. Right there. Oh well. Pit privy and a trash can. So yeah, 
at this big bridge on the Virginia Creeper Trail, you could take a little detour, I think. But you've got it detour before you get to the bridge because there's no way down. Hello, trash can. Okay, so after the big bridge going northbound is when you leave the Virginia Creeper Trail. We'll go down this way. Maybe we'll go by the trash can. <gasps> Probably not. It's on the other side of the water. It's been a pretty nice trail. It's a beautiful day. The temperature right now is just perfect for hiking. Seriously, no shortage of water today. The days are getting hotter. This is my unreal melted, squished, gonna be great. Unreal bomb. Things are melting. I'm about to start. A big climb, I believe, up there. I'm searching for a comfy place to stop for lunch. I only went one, only went 1.4 miles per the last hour climbing up this mountain. I have 1.2 to go to the top. <sighs> and I need to refuel and stop and eat lunch somewhere. So I'm looking for a soft place to land for about half an hour to relax and eat. This place is so green. I actually did it. I walked away from my sticks. This is as far as I got. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve steps away before I was like, ah, my sticks. Something just jumped into that hole. I don't know, maybe bunny's highest, but I didn't really see it. I just saw fluff moving quickly. There are some trees that have like wicked thorns, like inch long woody thorns. So I definitely don't want to sit on those. These are the wicked thorns. Like, they're big. All right, so we're point one from the summit of Buzzard Rock. Definitely feels like Grayson Highlands, which feels like home. Welcome home to Grayson Highlands. I freaking love it here. Bring gurgles. Cyclists. Much of the day was overcast, but right now, blue sky. 
was on the phone with my husband, but there's a trash can and a pit privy down there. And I took advantage of both. Oh, about four more miles, I think, to the shelter. So I've got an hour and a half of daylight left and I am 0.6 from the shelter and 1.4 from tenting sites. There box at both places. My feet are done. I already fell once. All right, so I'm 0.2 from the shelter. That was the first place I'd ever, the first shelter I'd ever been to on the Appalachian Trail. So coming to Grayson Highlands was my first Appalachian Trail experience, then my first two backpacking experiences. Um, my daughter, we came a lot. I came a lot just as a day hiker, but getting to see wild ponies while you're hiking um, and do a little rock scrambling isn't a bad day spent. So yeah, we loved it here. <laughs> the water at um, Thomas Knob Shelter is quite the hike down. I found a beautiful spot. It's actually, I have to backtrack a little bit to get to the spot. Not a bad spot at all. The sun just went behind the mountain over there. I have this whole campsite to myself right now. Beautiful soft ground. Great view. The shelter is right up here. The water is hard to get to. Take your trekking pole and leave on your hiking sho shoes. Do not change into your camp shoes before going to get water. The bear box is down there. That snap you just heard is the privy, which is pretty close to here. Everything in the tent. Ah, oh, it's just so beautiful. First privy with wood shavings. Yay. I'm fully, sort of fully enclosed. I mean, sort of fully enclosed. 